Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So as a part of this video, I'm going to talk about logical operators in Java and this video is going to be my 30th video on my playlist Java tutorials. So without wasting time, let's get started. Guys, operators are the symbol that is used to perform some operations. In your lifetime, you would have seen anywhere A plus B. That plus is an operator, which is used to perform some operations on the operand. Guys, operand here are A and B, and the operator is called as plus. That is symbol is called as operator. So as a part of this video, we are not discussing about the arithmetic operators that you have, something like plus, minus, into, and divide. So we are not discussing about that. This video is all about logical operators. Guys, in Java, we have three kinds of logical operators. And those three types of logical operators that we have are called as AND operators, OR operators, and NOT operators. AND operators, OR operators, and NOT operators. Generally, in Java, we write AND operators in this fashion. The symbol that we used is this AND operator. And for OR operator, we use this double pipeline. And for NOT, we use this. So when you are using AND operator, you will write some expression, some expression. What kind of expression? You will see me when I will be writing the program. For now, you just understand that you will write some expression and then you will be using the AND operators and then some expression. So you have write, written one expression and then AND operator and then your another expression. Guys, the meaning of AND operator mean if this is also true, if this is also true, then your final output is going to be true. That means, example, if A is greater than 5 and if A is greater than 10, if both conditions are satisfying, then only I will enter inside this. So before this, you have an if, you have an if, and then you have this. So this is called an if statement in which you are using some condition number one, condition number two, and your and operator. The meaning of and operator is if a is greater than five, if a is greater than 10, if both of them are true, Let's, let's assume that before writing this if statement, you have initialized the value of a is let's say 11. Now I know that 11 is greater than five. I know that 11 is greater than 10. That means it is going to be true. That means now, now your execution will get inside the if block of statement. Now let's say that your, your initialized value is 11, but here your, you have a greater than let's say 12. You have a greater than 2, let's say. In this case, you know that 11 is greater than 5, which is coming as true. And your 11 is not greater than 12. So in that case, this is true. This is false. So your final output is going to be false. That means your execution will not go inside this if block of statement. This is all about and logical operators. I hope whatever I explained was clear to you. Now let's proceed further. First, let me teach you guys and then I will write the program for this so you will understand it better. Now let's go ahead to talk about our operator. So in our operator, you have to write your if block of statement and then your our, our operator will come like this double pipeline as I said you and then you will be having your expression number one here and expression number two here. Let's say your expression number one is if a is greater than five or a is greater than six. Guys, the meaning of this statement is, you know, this is if block of statement. So you know that this is one expression and this is second expression in between, in between which you have our logical operator. The meaning of the statement is, if this expression is true or this expression is true, either of them, if one of them is also true, the final output is going to be true. The final output is going to be true. Now let's initialize the value of i as int a equal to 6. 
Now you know that six is greater than five. So this block of statement is returning true. And we know that six is not greater than six. So this expression is returning true. This expression is returning false. So finally, your output is going to be true. If it is true, if now it will enter inside your if block of statement. So this is all about your R operator, R logical operator. Guys, remember always in case of R operator, either your expression number one or expression number two, any one of them has to return true. Then it will ins enter inside the block of statement. If one of the expression is also not true, then also it will enter inside the block of statement. In case both of them are not satisfying, this is also coming as false. This is also coming as false. In that case, it will not enter inside the block of statement. So this is all about your R logical operator. Now let's proceed and let's talk about not operator. So guys, generally we write not operator using this exclamation symbol and then your expression. So your expression you have already written. Now let me tell you how to write not operator. So you write not operator like this. You write your not operator like this. That means there is this not operator, whatever is your final output, whatever is your final, whatever expression is giving the output, it will just reverse it. It will just reverse it. It will just reverse it. So let's talk about the same program. So you remember your A value was six. So this was returning you true and this was returning you uh, false. You guys remember same example I'm talking about. Now, if this is true, this is false. The final output is just because it's a or operator, your final output is true, but because you have not operator, it is going to reverse it. That means this is making your final output as false. If it is false, it will never inside your if block of statement. You can use your and operator anywhere you want. You can use your and operator in or logical operator, you can use your AND operator in AND logical operators. So this is all about your AND operator, OR operator and NOT operator. Now let's proceed ahead and write a program about this so that we understand it better. Create a new class, give your class name as maybe anything that you want. So I'm giving logical operators, logical operators underscore one and with the main method as public static void main. Main class is ready with the main method. And now I have to write my, I have to play with my and operator, logical operators and not operator. Before playing with that, I will initialize some value. So I will initialize the value of A equals to, let's say five. I will initialize the value of b equals to let's say 10 and then and then i will write my if block of statement in which i will start with and logical operator so when i'm playing with the and logical operator i have to write some condition so i will give if a is greater than let's say 4 and you know how to write and so I have to write a in the and is in this fashion and if b is less than 12 since you know both of them are true so now you know a is greater than 4 here because a is 5 and you know b is also less than 12 because your, your b is 10 if this is true, it will enter inside the block of statement. Now, whatever you want to do inside your if block of statement, you can do it. It is your choice. You, If you want to print something, you can print it. If you want to perform some logical function, you can do that. If you want to uh, write a program for reversing a string, you can do that. Whatever you feel like you can do enter inside the if block of statement. Now, just because I'm teaching you, I will probably write system.r.println and maybe I will write I am learning logical and operators, logical and operator. If I run this program, you will probably see that we are getting this output now. I'm learning logical and operator. That means and operator I'm learning. 
Guys, if the condition is not true, just change the value of A and play with it. So I'm changing the value of A now to seven. Now I'm changing the value of A to let's say one. Now I know that one is not greater than four. And I also know that B is less than 12. I know that this is not true. This expression is not true. This is false and this is true. And in case this is and operator, both the condition has to be, both the expression has to be true. Since one of them is false, one of them is true, final is going to be false. So it will not enter in this block of statement. If you run this, you will see that it is not going inside the if block of statement. To know it better, what you can do is you can print one more statement here in which you can write here. You can write something so that you know that it is executing. So you can write that I am not going inside the if block of statements. If I run this now, you will see that it is not going inside the if block of statement. The reason is this if block of statement is not satisfying because this expression number one and expression number two, both are not coming as true. Just because you're playing with and, just because you're playing with and operator, both of them has to be true. Since one of them is only true, it will never get inside the if block of statement. Now, this is all about your and operator. Let me change it to or operator. So in case of or, you need to put this, this is the symbol. So in case you have a doubt from where do I get that? If you, if you see your keyboard above enter, there is a pipeline, you need to use that. So double pipeline, I have used it. So this is called as my R logical operators. Guys, the meaning of R is, if this expression is true or this expression is true, Either of them has to be true. If one of them is true, it will enter inside the block of statement. It will enter inside the block of statement. So I know that now this expression is not true. This is not correct because your one is not greater than four. And I know that this is true. I got to know that this is giving me false, but this is giving me true. Since one is giving me true, it is going to execute this first and it is going to come out of the, it is going to come out of your if block of statement and it is going to print this. Let me change this to or because I'm dealing with or operator now. If I run this program, you will see that even though both the expressions are not returning true, your final output is your uh, execution is going inside the if block of statement because your or, or operator says that either of them has to be true, either this true or this true. If both are true, well and good, but if one of is only true, it is serving my purpose. If both are not returning true, then it will not never enter inside the if block of statement. So this is the beauty of it. So this is all about your R operator. Now let me teach you not operator. So not operator you always use first not and then the expression. So this is how you should use it. Just because you have used it, you have to put your, because now this is your, Next expression. So you have used your not operator. Now guys, if you remember last time when, when I, we had our operator, this was giving us true. If you remember, it was giving us true, but just because I have written here, not operator, it will just reverse my answer. It will just reverse my answer. If you remember earlier, this statement, if you remember my, this statement, only this statement, let me write it again for you guys. If you just remember my, this statement, this was returning true for me. If you guys remember, I just told you two minutes back, but just because I have not operated, it will just reverse the answer. So earlier this was giving me true, but just because I have not here, it will reverse the answer. That means it will make true as false. And just because it is making as false, it will never enter in, inside the if block of statement and your final output is going to be this. So this is how your not logical operators works. And now guys, if you remember, I can change this R to even AND operator. Now guys, if I just copy this statement, which is your, which is your AND operator here, if I just paste it here for your understanding, if I just paste it here for your understanding. Now this is AND operator. So you know that, so I know that this is returning me false because your one is not greater than four and this is returning me true. So because my 10 is, because my 10 is uh, less than 12, 
so this is returning me true this is returning me true and this is returning me false so you know the final output of your and operator right this is going to give you false right this is going to give you false and in case your x your you're going to get your false it will never enter inside the if block of statement in case of and operator but just because you have not operator it is going to reverse your answer it is going to reverse your answer so your final answer is going to be true because you have not, not operator just because it is going to give you final output as true this this is returning your true it will enter inside this block of statement it will print whatever it is printing and then it will even print this one so if i just run this you will see that both the expressions are being executed so this is all about from this video guys in case it was useful give a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt and please share this video with any friends in case you have any kind of doubt put out all your doubt in the comment section i will be really happy to explain the doubt that you are having and thank you so much guys take care